you know, this version was bad enough. So bad I knew not to see it. It just looked terrible and it has no, no positive feedback that I've heard from anybody. But they're going to redo it because of course they are because Disney cannot. Where's my, where's my Disney thwacker? Disney cannot do anything original. Hello everyone, I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy. Disney has an Inspector Gadget reboot in the works, according to Cinema Blend. Of course they do. Because of course they do. We have Inspector Gadget. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Just leave it. Forget it exists. I don't want another CGI crap cash grab. This is when a lot of this crap started. In the 90s. or What, what year is this? The 90s, does it say? That's when a lot of this garbage t uh, movies started. They were just cheap cash grabs and reboots and remakes and adaptations of, of cartoons or whatever or old 60s TV. That was another one. Oh, that was another one. They started doing that. And there was a couple of good ones. Like the Addams Family movies are great. Mm. But this is when a lot of this started. The Inspector Gadget properly is pri or property is primarily known for... It's time as a popular animated series in the 1980s. And in recent years, it returned to those animated roots for a revival show on Netflix. See, leave it there. If it's a revival show, leave it there. Didn't they? They even had Cree Summer voicing Penny, right? So they pretty much got it right or something. I don't know. I haven't heard anything negative about it. So I'm assuming they either got it right or it was something really limited or it's something that people don't care about because Inspector Gadget is Don Adams and it's the 1980s. Just stop. Just stop, stop, stop. I loved the show as a kid. <sighs> Inspector Gadget has also gotten some time on the big screen, and now words come in that Disney intends to give it the live-action film treatment again. Saturday Night Live writers. Oh, pff, God. Of course. Of course you're going to have Saturday Night Live writer. Saturday Night Live, who fires people before they even start for the season because they told some comedy or something off color that was deemed ist by a bunch of crazy people, by a bunch of escaped mental patients who are off their meds, who are going around being, I'm offended, I'm offended by everything. So no, 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 I'm not going to care about anything that comes out of Saturday Night Live writers. Thank you very much. They perform sketch comedy series. Maybe they're good. I don't know. These might be good ones. Is this, this isn't the guy that got fired, is it? And Streeter Seidel, so Mikey Day and Streeter Seidel, Seidel, I don't know how to pronounce it, have been hired by Disney to pen a new live action take on Inspector Gadget. This will be Day and Seidel's second project with the Mouse House. They're also behind the Home Alone re- Fuck you! Get out of here! No! No Home Alone reboots. Bad. That's a bad Disney for the di for Disney+. Plus. The Hollywood Reporter also mentioned that Aladdin producers Dan Lin and Jonathan Elric will produce a new Inspector Gadget movie through their Rideback banner. In case you missed out on the Inspector Gadget craze, the eponymous protagonist is a cyborg law enforcement officer who has many high-tech gadgets built into his body that makes catching criminals easier, ideally. On the flip side, Gadget's also a clumsy, dim-witted, uh, clumsy and dim-witted, resulting in comedic hijinks on his adventures. He's compared to Inspector Clouseau from the Pink Panther movies in an entire and personality, and Maxwell Smart. He's a cross between Clouseau and Maxwell Smart in 1980s with, you know... Yeah, he's enhanced. He's cybernetically enhanced, you know? Everybody's seen it. Go, go, gadget copter, and his skates pop out, and, you know, it, it, everything's wrong, and, and his gadgets don't quite work, and Penny really comes along and saves the day. Penny and Brain, and she's got the computer book. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody's well-meaning and well-intending. Usually aided by his niece Penny, who's incredibly intelligent and relies on her own high-tech devices to solve cases. See, that's why you kind of need to keep it in the 80s, because a computer book was an amazing technology in the 80s. Now she's going to come across like every other goddamn Mary Sue. And that's a problem. She's going to be too damn perfect. Because she, she was not super perfect in Inspector Gadget. She still messed up from time to time. She still got brain into trouble. She still... Uncle Gadget still got in trouble from time to time, and she wasn't exactly 100% perfect, even though she was solving most of the cases. 
But no, they're going to make her way too perfect. They're going to make her, oh, you're just a man. They're going to make her, they're going to make her a Riri Williams or a Michael Burnham or any of these crappy characters. First live action Inspector Gadget hit movie theaters back in 1999. That's what I thought. It was met with mostly negative reception and made $134 million off a $90 million budget. So it made money. That's why That's why they're doing it again, because it actually made money. Don't see movies if they look bad. Seriously, if the movie blows, just don't go. I love that line from the critic. If the movie blows, just don't go. And if you didn't see the critic, I'm sure it's on YouTube. John Lovitz is an animated show in the early 90s on Fox. I got it on DVD. It really holds up today you know with this whole revival movie series that they keep doing every every movie they're re rebooting remaking readapting everything we don't need everything being a reboot and they were already predicting it then and everything was a sequel back then oh hey we've got a good movie let's make a sequel let's make jurassic park 2 that's a great idea no it really wasn't it really, really wasn't and i think by the movie studio standards it was because they make money but as a movie going audience member no, 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 no. We want good movies every time. We don't want crap that you're going to keep shoveling at us to turn a quick profit like these Inspector Gadget movie things that you're going to be doing. Because you know they're going to turn it into a franchise, too. That was only a big screen Inspector Gadget outing, but Inspector Gadget 2 was, a release, was released direct to video. See? Direct to video. That's how good it was. No, just don't reboot Inspector Gadget. I, I don't have anything else to say about this. What do you guys think? Reboot of Inspector Gadget. Yes or no? <laughs> I know it's going to be overwhelmingly no. I am MechaRandom42. I will see you guys on the next video or live stream. Bye! Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!